the other ayin, the other ayin, daig minayin. The other ayin, the past was already, it's not here anymore. The other ayin, the future is not here yet. So daig minayin, why should you worry? How to live in the present is really to just put these beliefs into your head. To be reminded that Hashem is running the world. And every single moment in your life was handmade special for you. Hashem had to coordinate the entire world and beyond just to make sure that what you're going through now is exactly what's best for you. Berochim Habayim, and welcome to Torah Talks Chazak's program with special guests. We have with us Rabbi Eli Kamrel, all the way from Lakewood, New Jersey. Baruch Haba, Rabbi, how are you? I'm amazing. Thank ah, you so much for having of me. Of course, a big honor, big privilege. And we're going to be speaking about living a life of clarity uh, based on the rabbi's amazing shirim, clarity clips. And uh, before we begin with the topic and, and, and Torah talks, uh, if we get a little background about the rabbi, the good work you're involved with. Sure. So uh, my personal background, I grew up in Lakewood. I was born there, lived there all the years. Yer HaTorah. Okay. Of course, of course. And um, I went to regular yeshivas. I will say, uh, if anyone's curious, that my, the person who had the most, probably the biggest impact on me in wanting to always look for clarity and uh, gave me the mindset of how I think was uh, my Rabbi Meir Stern. I learned in Psaic. Psaic, yeah, of course. I learned in Psaic Yeshiva for three years by him. I did learn afterwards by Nertz Yisrael for a little, by Rav Ashi Ariely. Yeah. And uh, then I moved to Lakewood, Bar Hashem, I got married, two wonderful kids. And uh, now I learn full time in BMG. Baruch Hashem Zeicha to learn full time. So that is my personal background of um, of my life. And but well, the reason I'm here, and the reason people may know me, is because I, I I noticed that there is a need that I myself had always lived my life without. That that the 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 this the we all live our life the way I always did. When anything stressful happens in your life, you go to reaction. My go-to reaction was always to get stressed out, right? <laughs> That's what and most people, unfortunately, uh, do. Unfortunately. And I never thought that there was anything wrong with that, right? You go through life, the ups and the downs, and that's fine. But then I discovered that Something that I'd always known all along. Ramir Stern used to talk about it. He used to talk about Betachon, that Hashem runs the world. But to actually put it into practice on a day-to-day -day basis and to actually realize that because Hashem runs the world and because Hashem is always doing everything for my best and He loves me and every single thing He's only doing for you so that you could earn insane schar in the next world. So every time anything stressful happens, instead of getting stressed out, you could just... Remember, it's all from Hashem, who loves you, is doing it for your best. And then you'll be able to just stay calm and live a happy... And I was like, it's the cheat code to a happy life, right? The the difference from before and after was so different, was so big that I decided this is something that I need to share with the world. You need, it's, it's simple. It's simply the clarity of being able to remember this on a daily basis and live with the facts, live with the true facts that Hashem is running the world. So that's why I started putting out Shiram. It's called, like you said, Clarity Clips. It's living with clarity. That's really what it's about. And uh, Bar Hashem, it's been uh, it's been amazing ever since I started. People, their lives have changed. And what what I went through and the way my life changed, that's what many other people are saying as well. And that's all I want. All I want is for people to be able to just live an incredibly happy, successful life. Amazing, amazing, Rabbi. Very, very inspiring. So uh, many people, unfortunately, they're worried about the past. And they're worried about what's going to be in the future. How can one have the clarity to live in the present? So that's a good question. So this actually reminds me of the Peliyoyets. He actually he, he says a line. It's a famous line. It was turned into a song. I think Avram Fried. However, ayin, however ayin, daigminayin. However ayin, the past was already. It's not here anymore. However ayin, the future is not here yet. So daigminayin, why should you worry? Mm -hmm. And that, that's really. How to live in the present is really to just put these beliefs into your head. Meaning every time to try to remind yourself, and it, it's hard to remind yourself because why, why would you, right? You go about your daily life. Most people have no reason to be putting these thoughts into your head. So you really have to try to figure out a good way to be reminded and to start listening to Shurim about it, 
or whatever it is, to be reminded that Hashem is running the world. And every single moment in your life was handmade special for you. Every single, he, Hashem had to coordinate the entire world and beyond just to make sure that what you're going through now is exactly what's best for you. So there's no such thing as, oh, I, this moment's not good. I need to wait for the next moment. What do you mean? You, Hashem, is all, Hashem knows what he's doing. He made this special for you. So if you live with Patachan, that's really, you're always, always going to live in the moment that you're in right now. I heard something beautiful that uh, when you live at the moment, it's a gift from God, and that's why it's called the present. <laughs> that's beautiful. Live in the moment. The past was, like the rabbi said, the future will be, hasn't happened yet. Uh, live in the moment. Enjoy every moment. Live with clarity. And, uh, you know, there's so many topics that, Baruch Hashem, thank God, Kalali, so the Jewish people, they're constantly learning. The Daf Yomi movement, which I'm a part of, I'm so happy to be part of, is is booming. You know, so many people are learning the Daf, uh, one page of the Gemara every single day. Uh, Shmirat Alashon, uh, the Chavetz Chaim, this farm, is a massive movement. But when it comes to Betachan, why is it... Uh, what would, uh, would you say? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. Why... why? Why is there not why as much of a focus and why on, is it, on Why is it also so important that it should, you know, be more out there? That's a good question. So, first of all, I, I would say that I, I get this question a lot. That why, like, why are you the first one that we are being introduced to these ideas to? Which, again, there are many. There are many. Again, Ramayastin used to talk about this. It's definitely something that's spoken about. And there are many other wonderful speakers that talk about it. But I think it is true to an extent that it may not be as focused on. As it could be, and I think the reason is very is very simple. It's not because people are are trying not to or, or don't want to do it. It's because that is really that's the rights. The main sign of our life is to just be able to stay focused on the fact that Hashem is running the world because Hashem set up this entire world. Every single second of your day that you're doing everything, every everything is set up to to enhance the illusion that Hashem is not running the world. That it's run by nature. Right? You get in the car, you turn it on. That's what caused cause and effect. Right? You go to work, you make money. This guy's very smart, so he becomes rich. So now he could afford everything, so now he's happy. Everything. You look around. It's just your day-to-day -day life. Everything is just billboards in your face, so to speak, that's telling you that Hashem's not running the world. Mm -hmm. So automatically, that's like, that becomes your natural reaction. And also, the, the, the idea of betachum is not so much just it's not so much that, that we have to give over one idea and like, oh, Betachan Hashem runs the world, so there's no reason to worry, and now you're good to go, right? If that was true, then everyone would have Betachan, right? right? Everybody would know. The key is, and, and of course, in the Chinuch system and, and in the world, of course, everybody says over that Hashem runs the world, of course. But the, the reason why Betachan is different is because it needs constant, constant work. There's no other way to live a successful life with Betachan and not get worried because you could know one day that you have a talking but what about the next day when something very stressful happens and it's been too long? You, you've been living through your life where everything is telling you that Hashem doesn't run the world, so then you're going to react with stress, unfortunately, unless you could be constantly reminded. So it's not so much why people aren't focused on it. It's more your job, each and every person. It's your job to try to be reminded as often as possible to put as many systems in place as you could, to remind you of the one simple fact that Hashem is running the world and He loves you and He's doing everything for your best and it's just for you to be able to get schar in the next world and then you'll be able to really, to really, really have a successful life. So the but, rabbi is suggesting putting up like a sign by the computer or by the office or by the learning or by the fridge. So there, there are, there are many, I, I, I actually got, someone reached out to me and he, he told me that he, he likes to do that. He likes to put signs all over mm, the so all over the, the <laughs> fridge and, and reminding him, Hashem runs the world, Hashem loves you. If you if you want to get like a bumper sticker or something, <laughs> maybe maybe you could uh, put that out. start putting it out. <laughs> that, 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 that would be great. So many people, Rabbi, yeah. you, they're usually very uh, concerned at the, at the opinions of others, whether it's a family member, a friend, a neighbor, what are they going to say? Uh, how does one live a life of clarity and bitachon and uh, live their values as opposed to uh, listening to others, uh, sometimes which unfortunately could be negative? That's a very good question. And, and I, I, think, I think it's something that every single person in the world uh, uh, struggles with and has to deal with. 
where where you have what you think in your head is the right thing to do, and then what you have what based on other people's opinions and what you're nervous people are going to think of you that you just don't don't you don't have the you know the fortitude to be able to do the right thing. So I would say that the way to be able to not care what people think is to just try to think logically. Why do I care what people think of me? And and if you think, which which I did, and <laughs> if you think about it, the, I think that the reason most people care what other people think is because you think that other people's opinions of you makes a difference to you, right? For example, if uh, somebody thinks highly uh, highly of you, they're more likely to offer you a job or want to do business with you, right? Or let's say it's a shidduch or a friend, right? Uh, he's not going to be friends with me if he thinks I'm uh, from me or I'm uh, I'm too religious or whatever it is. So it all boils down to the reason you're worried is for a real reason. Because you want the effects that making a good impression has. But if you would realize that the successes you have in life never come by coincidence because you happen to make a good impression on someone. The only way good things come to you is if Hashem decides they should. So there's really no reason to make it, try to make a good impression on anyone other than Hashem, other than HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because he's the only one who really has the power to give you goodness and give you whatever it is that you need. So once you remember that and you realize that, so who cares? I mean, he's going to think, uh, who cares about other people's opinions of me? They have no effect on me. Oh, he's going to offer me a job? No. Nah. Hashem can make Hashem. him, it's Hashem can God. make him, someone else give me a job, like make me win the lottery. <laughs> Hashem has plenty of ways to give me all the goodness that you could ever need in a life. So that's why I would tell someone who wants to know why to not care. Remember, there's no reason to care about what other people think because it's all from Hashem. 100%. And there's a saying uh, that uh, in, in Israel, it's a beautiful saying that don't worry about the Shechina, uh, which is basically a neighbor. Worrying more about the Shechina, which Very is good. the divine presence, which is Akadosh Baruch which is That's God Almighty. Beautiful. So 100%, we have, to, uh, we have to remember everything's from Hashem. There you go. These there messages go. are mamish. Things that come out of the heart enter the heart. Uh, what would you suggest, Rabbi? I know we touch upon this, but to, but to put betochen out there more, to, to 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 you know, not that it should be like a side thing, and that uh, you know, uh, people learn it uh, here, or there, or sporadically. Any ideas of how we could? So that's a good question. I actually do get people reach out a lot that I I say in a lot of my videos. A lot of times I throw in, make sure you put a system in place to remind Hashem of the world. People want to know what what do you, what do you mean by that? What's the system to put into place? So the reason I, I'm vague about that in, in my videos is because I found that there isn't really one system that works for everyone. It's that one shoe size fits all. Right. But I'm, so I, I would tell you a couple of things, and you, you really have to choose what works for you. So there's, let's say you have a guy who's in BMG learning in yeshiva, right? So someone like him is, is more the type. He, you open up a chayv salvavis, and you just make Dude, sure. Hard, amazing sefer. You make sure you have a daily seder. Of Chavis Alvavis. When you finish Chavis Alvavis, you move on to Beis Levi, Maimon, Betachen, and others yeah. farm. There are many others farm, which we had I'm a sure you talk. ask around, yeah. you, you, you'll find out about all the different farm. So that is one way to do it. Many people find that that is too hard. Chavis Alvavis is hard to read, so you move on to other things. Let's say you can have the, there's a few English versions of Chavis Alvavis. There are many others farm. Uh, there's Living Amuna by Rabbi Ashir, yeah. and there's uh, Rabbi Sutton put out Swarm. Yeah. There's many, many Swarm that you could do that, even if, let's say, you aren't, you know yourself that you're not going to be able to actually sit through learning Chayv Salavis inside. There are many other Swarm, but the key is to get Swarm that you know yourself, you'll be able to do consistently. I mean, on a day, Consistency is the key. That is the key, to do it on a daily basis. So I think Rabbi Ashir keeps coming out with more books, which I think is a good thing, yeah. because you people... People finish the first ones. You need still have something else to move on to. Another way you could do it is have shiurim. There are tons of rabbis who talk about only betachin, and you make sure if you subscribe to them. However, it is that you make sure that it's coming in constantly to always work on that. And like you said, like we said, uh, I had the, had this fellow who had a good idea to start putting up signs. I think that's a good idea. I think that's that's something that you could use. You know, put the reminders around again. Anything you have. Is helpful, right? right. Yes. Any way you have to remind yourself is really key. And um, another thing I would say, very interesting, very interesting idea, which you be not everyone knows that, is aware that this is uh, a big help when it comes to betachon, is the the meirion on the pasuk hemanti kiadaber. It says I had emuna kiadaber because I spoke. 
And he says that the more you speak about it, the more you speak with Betachem, the more it enhances your Betachem. So if, and, and I actually just found a, I, I just said it over in a share, but a source that I had never known before. And I, I, was, I was shocked when I, saw, when I saw this source. It was Rav Dessler writes that he says people talk all the time. On a daily basis, he says, people will talk when he, they say, you know why that rich guy, you know why he's so rich? Because he's a very shrewd businessman. He's got everything worked out. He's very smart. This is why he did that chash, but that's why he's so rich. Or you know why that army is winning? You know, Israel and everything because... They have intelligence and they exactly. have the, the, the this and they have that. The Mossad, right? It's all the Mossad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, people talk like that. And if that's what say, that, that he gives, literally gives these two examples. Rav Dessler. And he says, and you do that, and you don't think you're doing anything wrong. Right? What's wrong? Oh, we're just talking. What's wrong? And he says it's, it's he calls it, he says it's avoid zara tumuna. It's like hidden avoid zara in your heart because you're not really living with the belief that Hashem runs the world. So the Me'iri is saying a similar idea. So, so one, one thing that I think is very important, it may be embarrassing, but we already spoke about before yeah, <laughs> why we shouldn't really care what people think. Don't be embarrassed. Because right. people Arsene. will respect you, do what's right. Right? That's right. So, so if you could just talk with an awareness that Hashem runs the world, right? Instead of saying, oh, you know why the winning say Hashem is running the world. Hashem saved them. Hashem did that. Hashem made that person rich. Hashem did that. You Speak. know why I'm stuck in traffic now? Not because there was an accident on the highway because over there. Because God wants me to be in this situation where I am right now. Exactly. And that's speaking Bitachon. Exactly. That's living Bitachon. Exactly. And the more you speak about it, the more it's going to be ingrained in you. 100%. So the yeah. rabbi just saying, just constantly mention God. This is Hashem. This 100%. is God. This happened. That happened. I'm here. I'm there. Whatever the situation is, it's because of Hashem. Exactly. And don't be embarrassed. I know. I understand. People <laughs> may think, you know, we totally, okay, okay. Don't be that guy that's talking about Hashem. No, you should be that guy because that is the only way for you to truly live a successful life. Amazing. Rabbi Eli Carmel, love every every single word. Gems, uh, we have a Minaga custom, a final message for our broad audience. All right. Um, what, I what I would tell people is that um, you hear what I'm saying now. You hear the words. It makes sense. It's inspiring. Yes. You understand? It's going to be such a game changer if you have a talking. It's, it's just the before and after. It's like, it's like. When you take a shower after a three day three day antif, you know, or you, you eat a meal after a fast, you know, you just like it clicks. You're just like you go from ah. from chayshich to from darkness to light. <laughs> Living a life without betachem and with betachem, you need to try it. You need to start, and don't just say, "Okay, I know, I'm gonna try a little bit." Put a system in place right now. Remember, the entire world is going against you. The entire world is set up, which is for your best. Hashem wants you to have bechira. To have free choice, free will, to be able to choose to have the tachan. So Hashem set up the whole world that it should make it seem like there's cause and effect, like there's nature, like it's happening. So you need to win the game of life. You need, you, you're reminded right now, right? You, you, you hear this, this is your time. This is your moment. Chef. Do something concrete. Order a book right now. Or, or subscribe to Shiurim. M make up with the Chavrusa to, to learn Chavis Alvavis or whatever it is. But you need you put your signs up around the house. Whatever it is, it needs to be concrete. You need to do it now. Don't wait. Because in a week from now, something stressful is going to happen. You're going to be back to square one. A week ago is a week of time with, with the amount of things going on in the world. You're going to be right back stressed out. So don't wait. Do it right now. <laughs> Grab now. as much betachen as you could right now. Amazing, Rabbi Eli Kamara. Living a life of clarity, mamash. If you do this... I, I I'll tell you. Listen, we 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 live with Dach, We love him on olive base. It's 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 Yiddish guy. It's what, what Judaism is all about. Olive is imuna base of betachon, and uh, this is a message that needs to Gimel's get out to the world. Gimel's gula. Gula. Ah, you have imuna. You have betachon. You have gula. We had actually had <laughs> we had a Torah talk as well. So uh, we want to thank the rabbi for joining us. Such a beautiful message. And like the rabbi said, take the action right now. Right now, put up those signs. Uh, order that safer. Uh, follow that rabbi. Uh, put up, uh, you know, start that uh, learning program, whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. Do, do the action right away. It will change your life forever. Living a life of bitachon and munan, because Baruch is the best life in the world. Life is good. Life is great. You're going to celebrate. It's going to be amazing. No stress. No headaches. 
And Bezat Hashem, we shall all take this message to I want to give a special thank you to uh, the many different platforms that host uh, Chazak Torah Talks. With a special shout out to our friends at Torah Time. With a special thank you to Shimon for introducing the two of us. Thank uh, you, Shimon, thank of you. course. And uh, to our friends at Daily Giving. Uh, Dr. Donuts, a dollar a day goes a very, very far away. I want everyone to check it out. It's uh, Tzedakah Yomi. It's every single day. You know that you did fulfill that mitzvah, which Tzedakah Tzimim Mavit, to save a person from death. A special thank you to all the Chazak staff, amazing uh, volunteers and board members and supporters. And thank you to Natan Bahar Media, director behind the camera, does an amazing job with these Torah talks. We get tremendous feedback and we really appreciate it. It really gives that chizuk, that inspiration. You know, sometimes uh, after doing 160 plus episodes, uh, like we still think, you know, uh, what's the feedback, what's happening, but we constantly get it. So it means a lot. Uh, feel free to continue sending to us suggestions for future Rabbanim and speakers and guests are always welcome. And Bezot uh, Hashem, we should be Zochir, we should all merit to see the Gulash and the Mount Redemption. It should come be Mirab, it means speed in our days. Amen. Wow.